Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel, guys. Yes, my name is Zidi. Uh, today, probably the last video for my private football pitch because something happened, but I will talk about that later in this video. Um, of course, four amazing Bitcoin charts, a beautiful trading tip, some travel advice. Yes, of course, some live advice. And yes, talking about the news, why uh, this might be the last video, but also some really cool news about the SEC. Uh, which I really like. Now let's jump into the first part of the video, the charts after scoring my first goal today. Of course, this beautiful goal is in. I don't know if you saw it, beautiful goal. Now let's jump into the charts, bam. The first chart for the day, guys, is a four hour chart. We can see on the four hour chart that the indicator, the Bitcoin family indicator that we use um, is telling us to sell on the four hour chart. We have candles closing down low the yellow stepping line and we are running into that huge blue area on top. And that area is the, there if you add the supply and demand indicator on trading view. So you can see that we have a lot of supply being sold on the top and the demand is down below there, that red area, around 33,400 US dollar. So if this will be a valid short, there will be a lot of yellow in this part of the indicator over there, and now it's still a little bit green. And if that beautiful blue line and the white line are pull, uh, pushing downwards to lower levels, then that short could be a very nice four hour chart, bringing us all the way first to that bottom of the Bollinger Band, 36,000, maybe then here even to the mid of 35,600. Could be a very nice short on the short term for our chart, guys. Let's jump into way more beautiful charts, the zoomed out ones. This chart, guys, is the Bitcoin Mid Epoch Index. I already shared this one last week, but I'm going to share it every week because it's a very interesting chart. We can see now that we are nearing the level one. If you look to the left on the chart, we can see here for the blue line, we were in the middle uh, at the block kind of 105,000. We were around 589 US dollar. And then towards the halving, we climbed all the way up to 652 dollar. The red line, we were around $7,400 in the mid, and we went all the way up to $8,600 US dollar um, around the halving. So the halving point, we were higher than the mid. Now, the mid this time, we were around $39,600 US dollar. So if you repeat the move that we always have done, we would be higher than that $39,000 US dollar um, around that halving point. That's why I always say we will be between 40 and 50K towards that halving guys and this chart is showing us that that probably is going to happen again so yes you can still buy bitcoin now around these levels because we are going to be up from these levels around april 2024 and then we have this chart also beautiful chart this is the don chain channel we can see in 2016 we are starting to the left on the chart when we start to close above the midline of that channel so above that red line we have a green circle over there the bull market started. Beautiful how that is displayed. Now, we can see the same again in 2020. When we start to close above that midline, that red line, the bull market was fully on. And the thing that we're seeing now is that we are closing above that midline again. So yes, this could be the start of that massive bull market. And how long that bull market is going to take, I'm going to show you with the next chart also a very interesting chart but here is again an indicator telling us hey the bottom is gone we are now closing above that midline yes we are going to go into a steep bull run again and it can take all the way into 2025 that is what i will show you on this chart because this chart i've been also sharing with you also already for multiple times this is about the 21 ema and the 20 sma and um, when they cross that there's always an indication of the bull market started. And even if you look to this chart, you can see on the yellow circle on the left, that is when the 21 crossed the 20. And when it crossed, there was bull market started. And the bull market from that moment took 731 days to the bull market top. 731 days. To be very clear, that's over two years before we saw the bull market top. Now, if we look now back to 2020-21, yes, we saw the same. We had that COVID crash. Then we had the EMA 21 crossing the SMA 20. And from that moment till the bull market top took 670 days. That's almost two years again. So yes, it took 670 days. And now 
the thing that we're seeing is this 21 AMA and the 20 SMA are crossing again. This is again the start of that bull market. And how long will that take? Like I've been sharing with you all the time, I believe it will take all the way into 2025. And that will be again two years. That will again be between 600 days and 800 days somewhere. So very interesting chart. Again, with a beautiful indication that the bull market has started. We're going to see another beautiful bull market and it can take all the way up to, for example, 730 days. So you're not too late. You're just on time. It's a little bit higher. You didn't buy at 16K. Forget all of that. Start to dollar cost average into Bitcoin now so you can beautifully join us on that massive bull market that we are now looking at. Then we have this chart because a lot of people ask me, Didi, what about altcoins? Do you invest in altcoins? Yes, I do invest in altcoins. And I'm not going to analyze this full chart. This chart is showing you the Ethereum relative return heat map. Ethereum monthly returns relative to Bitcoin monthly returns. And uh, the very simple thing, because there's a lot of numbers on the charts, that you can see here is that every time from January to May, Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin. So in average, from January to May, Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is going to perform a shitload more, I think, now till January. And then from that moment, maybe that alt season will be starting. Because if we look back into history, we can see that yes, in the months January, February, March, April and May, in average, Ethereum outperformed Bitcoin. Just with a little bit, we're talking about 2% to 7% and maybe these kinds of numbers. But at least we know that in January, February, March, April, May, Ethereum and all the coins built on Ethereum were very bullish if you compare it to Bitcoin. Beautiful chart. I hope you really enjoyed those chart guys. And in Bitcoin, it's very important to always keep your head cool. Stay calm. Whatever happens. Yes, if we go massively up, don't foam win. Wait for this pullback. And if we retrace, then you start to buy. And then don't be afraid that we drop to 20K or 10K. No, just buy at the support levels that are there. And these support levels are beautifully displayed with my indicators, but also with other people's indicators. There is beautifully support and resistance levels that you can see on the daily, on the weekly charts. And that is where you should be buying your buy orders, you know, because that's where the liquidity is. Is that where the price will be pulled to the liquidity or on the top side or on the bottom side. Liquidity is always determining where the price will go, guys. So after these amazing charts, let's jump into the trading tip. And for the trading tip, of course, standing in front of a wise guy this in the back of me over there, guys. Yeah, he's the one, he's the wise one. I'm the Bitcoin guy. Now, the trading tip for the day is very simple. Indicators on TradingView are a beautiful tool to help you determine what kind of trend we are. So use these indicators, the MACD, the RSI, the Gaussian channel. All of these indicators give you exactly what direction Bitcoin is moving. Is the RSI topping out? You know a pullback will be there in a time. If the RSI is bottoming out, we know that there will be a breakout to the upside. The MACD is also showing you a lot of information. The Gaussian channel, I've been talking about the Gaussian channel now for years. Every time when we break out from red to green and the candles come above the red area, that is a beautiful moment to indicate that you should be dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin as we are leaving the bear market. It happened every cycle. It happened this time again. I was there to tell you. Guys, watch out. We are breaking out of the Gaussian channel. We should be accumulating more Bitcoins now. Just look back my videos. These indicators are a very helpful tool. And there's, for example, also the Pi Cycle Top indicator. This has been correct for every bull market top. So if you go into this beautiful bull run all the way in 2025 and the Pi, Pi Cycle Top is going to indicate, wow, this could be the top, you should be dollar cost averaging out of Bitcoin around that moment. Indicators are a very powerful tool. That was the trading tip for today. Let's jump into the travel tip. And of course, the travel tip in front of this beautiful travel guru over there, guys. When it comes to traveling, it's a very simple tip, but it's a very useful one. Always carry on a simple, small lock. A code lock or a key lock, whatever it is. But these tiny locks, they always come in handy, especially when you sleep in dorm rooms or in hostels, because they don't always have locks there. Mostly you either rent locks or buy locks, will always cost you extra money. So always carry on your own lock. 
it's also handy to lock your bag. If you have a backpack, you can lock the backpack very simple and put some stuff in that you don't want people to see or people to take. So these small locks, you have certified locks, really strong ones, always carry one of those with you when you're traveling. They always come in handy. Even sometimes in restaurants, you will find a toilet door that can't be locked. You will be happy then to have this small carry-on lock because mostly there's two of these holes, put it in, lock the door, you can take a shit without being disturbed. <laughs> so yes, the travel tip for today is always carry on this tiny lock so you can shit wherever you want without being disturbed. <laughs> that was the travel tip for today. Let's jump into the next part. There is this small flies hitting my feet all the time. This is really shitty. Um, guys, uh, the news for the day is really cool news. The news is that, whoop, bam, goal. Of course, goal. The news is uh, that now the government in the United States, there was an approval of an amendment that the SEC is losing control to enforce crypto companies and doing stuff. And what does it mean? This whole amendment is a very difficult story, but it is to simplify it, the SEC and Mr. Clown Gary Gensler, they can't use taxpayers' fund to enforce crypto companies to do something. That's very simple what it is. So for him, it was now possible to just use all the taxpayer funds, everyone is paying tax, and then use that to enforce crypto companies to do certain steps or not do certain steps. So he can't use those funds anymore now to do that. So that's a big step in the United States. Finally, the United States is uh, waking up again and maybe they should fire Gary Gensler because firing Gary Gensler would be the best solution out there because he is stopping the full development and the full growth potential of the United States when it comes to crypto adoption, the future of money. So he's the only one stopping all of that adoption. He's also the one delaying all these spot ETFs. So I don't believe that this guy will survive uh, for much more longer. I, I do believe he's going to be fired. And then, of course, the spot ETF and everything will be approved very quickly. But now, at least, there is amendment. You need to read the whole article that is now helping the taxpayers in their fight for freedom because now the SEC can't use their taxpayer money anymore to enforce crypto companies to do certain stuff that they shouldn't be doing. Now, that was the short news for today, guys. If you want to know more about the news and read the full article, I will put the link down below. Um, let's go into a more beautiful part, the question of one of the followers. The question of one of the followers was a very good question. He's like, Didi, in the last bull markets, he experienced that during the FOMO part of the bull market, the euphoria part, that a lot of exchanges were not responsive anymore. It took a long time for them to respond to their questions, to withdrawals and all of that. Now, yes, I need to agree. In the past three bull cycles, these exchanges have been lagging a little bit when it comes to too many transactions at the same time. Everyone wants to buy or everyone wants to sell Bitcoins or Ethereum or any other alt token at the same time. So it gets really busy on the blockchain. So it's not, it's not like completely the exchange's fault. It's also, of course, the blockchains that are like too slow to handle that massive amount of people wanting to sell or, you know, do their stuff. So now the question was, Didi, which exchanges do you trust most that won't be lagging? So for me, it's very simple. I think Bybit is the best exchange out there. So I do believe during a bull market, also in the previous bull market, I didn't experience any problems with Bybit. Every withdrawal, every trade, everything was like perfectly done just in time, just in a normal time frame. So for me, Bybit is number one but that is what you know already. So if you want to use Bybit and use the links down below, sign up to Bybit, you can get a bonus up to 30,000 US dollar. There's a lot of tournaments going on, trading competitions, spot trading, leverage trading competitions. At the moment, there's a lot of active promotions because yes, you're getting started in the bull market. So use the links down below. If you use my links, you get some extra bonuses, of course, as well. So for me, Bybit is number one. I think number two for me is Kraken. Kraken has always been a very robust exchange. Yes, in 2017, they had a shitload of problems in the bull market up. In 2021, everything went perfectly fine. And I think now in the next bull market up, 2025, again, Kraken will be outperforming many other exchanges. I think it's more the smaller exchanges that need the liquidity to be managing their whole exchange and all that stuff, that they will have some issues. So I, I won't have any cryptocurrencies on those other exchanges. I will have Bybit and, for example, Kraken. I'm not even using Binance anymore, guys. 
So those two exchanges for me are the safest play now in the next bull market. So if you ask me, the thing that you need to do is you need to prepare yourself for the bull market top. So the moment we can see these indicators and everything telling us, hey, the bull market is coming almost to an end, that's like a couple of months ahead, you start to send your Bitcoins and your Ethereums again to the exchanges. Because then you are earlier than the rest of the herd. When the herd starts to send all their cryptos to the exchanges, you're too late because that's when the problems start. But when you do this a couple of months ahead, you just send your Bitcoins in a very relaxed way without having too much fees. Also, Ethereum fees go sky high during the bull market up. So just do this up front, a couple of months up front. Send your crypto to a very safe exchange, Kraken and Bybit. And then when the bull market really starts to top out, your funds are already on the exchange, you can start to sell. While other people are still then fighting about how can I send my Bitcoins very quickly without fees to the exchanges. So always be a step ahead. So for me, that's the best strategy. Don't wait till the end. Do it a little bit earlier. Send your Bitcoins, Ethereums, altcoins to the exchanges before the whole mass hysteria is starting. And you will lean back, relax, look at the price, beautiful topping out, and start to exchange them then to stable coins. That's the thing that I would do. And I would just sit back and then slowly start to withdraw the stable coins, part of the stable coins, into your hardware wallet. A part I would leave on the exchange to buy back cheap, uh, to buy back Bitcoin cheaper, etc., etc., etc. So that is my answer to the question. I hope you are satisfied with that answer. If not, leave a comment again. And for tomorrow, I need another comment down below, of course, as well. Now let's jump into the next part of the video. To give you an update about the beautiful housing situation, guys, and of course, again, a goal, um, I want to update you about the house. We have a beautiful house. We have our own football pitch. We are very happy here. Uh, we even already built fitness equipment and everything because we thought we would stay in this house for a year. Now, the thing that what happened is they started to build a huge construction just next door. That's why I'm recording this video at 7 a.m. in the morning because at 8 a.m. they will start the construction and you will get sick of all the noise, guys. Um, so we luckily had in our contract built in that if there would be any constructions in a certain uh, um, area around the house, we were allowed to enter contract and get back our deposit and leave. And that is exactly what happened. They started to build. We woke up like... They're building, they're like, uh, how do you call this? They are like making these holes in the floor with these huge machines and all stuff. It's like... It's unbearable. It's too much uh, noise. It's the only thing they don't do is working on Sunday, but the rest of the week, Saturday morning at 8 a.m., bam, they woke us up. So we don't need to leave the house, but we want to leave the house because it's just not livable with that um, noise next door, and especially not now when we go towards Christmas and all that stuff, guys. We just want to have a relaxed time here in Thailand. So luckily, we had a good contract. Luckily, we can go. We found another house that we are going to go to today, visit it, and sign the official contract. When that contract is signed, I will show you the house, show you everything. It's not as big as this one. We don't have our own football pitch. It is a little bit smaller but still very high tech. It's a smart house. So like the lights, everything is all like with your telephone and the music system. It's a beautiful house, but it just doesn't have the space that we have over here. But then again, we have a beautiful location with some nice restaurants and bars around the corner and the beach is a little bit closer. So I think we will be happy there as well. It was a very difficult decision because it's high season and during high season, so we are talking about like November, December, January, February, March, this month, it's very difficult to get any house here. And we have like a house and we need a house with four bedrooms. There's not many houses with four bedrooms available in this period. So we were very lucky to find this one. It was not on the market yet. So we found it before it went onto the market. Um, and, and we just hope to be happy there as well. There was also a very big house available, uh, which would be our dream house probably. But they were asking so much money that we were like, okay, it can be a dream house, guys, but we don't want to spend that kind of money to a house. We are not that materialistic that we need this huge kick-ass house to show people, wow, ooh, look what a big house we have. And then we have a lot of space that we don't use. And the house was like, I'm going to tell you the price. It was now 450,000 Thai baht per month. We want to keep as much as possible Bitcoins because we're going to go into the bull market. This is going to increase tremendously in value, that capital. So we chose for a smaller house, still very luxury, not very small. It's not like a tiny house, uh, but you will see later in the videos. Uh, and we want to feel happy there as well. And that was like less, way less, way less than the price 
I'm not going to share the price with you guys, but it was even less than the half of that expensive house. So it was way cheaper than that house. And I think you will love the house, smart house, beautiful house, fits the Bitcoin family, and it's completely secured with cameras, systems, everything. So yeah, we feel very happy with the choice that we made. Let's see if you like the house as well. So let's jump into the last part of the video. Of course, I still owe you a beautiful, inspirational quote of the day. The quote for today is, guys, pursue passion instead of materialistic stuff. If you find what you're passionate about in life and you start to do that every day, it will bring you a lot of joy and happiness. That's why it's called passion. The moment you spend more hours a day to your passion or to what you're passionate about than to your job, you will feel more happy you will feel more fulfilled, you will feel more joy every day. And that is like this beautiful cycle that then starts running because that will start to compound the joy, the happiness, the beautiful feeling, the fulfilled feeling. It will compound more and more and more happy and more because you're following your gut feeling, you're following your passion, you're doing every day what you're passionate about. I think that's very important for you guys to understand. If you're passionate about something, Go for it, even if it will cost you some income because you're working a little bit less for the job. Go and work a little bit less for the job and go do a little bit more of your passion. The money at the end won't bring you the happiness that the passion will. Of course, you can have bags full with money on your banks, on your Bitcoin wallets, everywhere where you want to have it. But the happiness and the joyfulness that you feel every day mostly comes from doing things you're passionate about. If it's cooking and you're passionate about cooking, you will feel the joy and happiness that moment. If it is having jiggy, jiggy, jiggy time with your wife or in a very strange way, whatever you do, you will feel passionate about that. When you're doing it, you will feel joy. It's the opposite feeling, for example, I'm not saying that you have this feeling, but it's the opposite feeling of what I had in my previous job. I was not passionate about that. I was passionate about making a shitload of money and yes, I offered myself up to do a stupid job to have that money. But I didn't feel the joy, the happiness and all the other stuff that I also felt when I was running the football pitch or scoring a goal. So that was a completely different kind of happiness and joyfulness. And I think when you start to do what you're passionate about, you will start to feel that joyfulness and happiness again that you were feeling when you were younger and doing that passion that you loved. If it was dancing or football or tennis or whatever sport you played, that, that passion, that beautiful feeling of winning a game, of training, of sweating, that feeling, that joyfulness feeling that you felt then, you can also feel this in daily life. But you won't feel that if you keep running the hamster wheel and doing more things that you're not passionate about than things that you're passionate about. You need to bring the balance to the other side. Passion is over here work is over there and when i say work i also mean income this is money and materialistic stuff this is your passion your passion should always be top number one every day start to do things that you're passionate about and less that you need to do to make some income because if you start to do this over here follow your passion and do it more often that will not only lead to happiness joyfulness and that beautiful feeling but probably also lead to another source of income at the end. So that's the balance I think is very important. So that was my inspirational quote for the day. Uh, probably the last video from this beautiful football pitch, like I said. I really enjoyed this house. I really enjoyed doing my videos over here. But the new house will give me some new possibilities as well. Hopefully you will like the videos there as well. But if you liked this video today, please give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Like hit it. Hit the notification bell. And leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the house? What do you think about everything else? I hope you really enjoyed it. And see you tomorrow again. Bam.